Hello everybody, welcome to this video about our eSense Muscles software. In this video I'm going to show you in every detail how to use the web application that is part of the eSense Muscle for genius two-channel EMG biofeedback. The eSense Muscle is our latest addition. This tiny device uh, with a built-in lithium-ion battery, Bluetooth, rechargeable, uh, up to 12 hours continuous op operation and two channels of highly accurate sensitive EMG biofeedback measurements. I have connected myself now to the eSense muscle, um, my two hands, so that during demonstration I can contract and loosen my muscles here. This is the first channel, channel 1, which is the electrode black and white and the yellow one is the ground electrode that is always needed and on my other hand is the second channel red and green electrode there is another video where I show in detail the hardware the delivery content how to work with the cables and electrodes and everything so have a look at that video as well and for this video now it's all about the software it's all about the web app Yes, what does that mean, a web application? A web application is a software that is running only and solely in your web browser. This has a lot of advantages. You don't have to download and install any kind of software. The only thing you have to do is go to our website www.essence-muscle.com and there you find further instructions and can start the software directly within your browser. We are using Bluetooth as the connection between the eSense muscle device and your computer. So if you have a Windows computer or Mac or Linux, make sure you have Bluetooth enabled on that and this is all you need. As a browser, please choose the Google Chrome browser which supports this standard called Web Bluetooth which is a direct Bluetooth connection between the device and your browser. So I'm on my Windows desktop now and I switch to my desktop, show you my browser here. I'm in Google Chrome and I have already opened the essence-muscle.com website and I see a little Bluetooth icon from Windows um, at the taskbar at the bottom right corner. Make sure you have that as well so that your computer is Bluetooth enabled. For further references, please have a look at the short manual that is included with the eSense muscle. It requires Bluetooth 4 and above. So what I'm doing now is I turn on the device by pressing the little black button and a blue light appears. We need to wait a couple seconds until the device is started completely and then I can click already on the desktop version of the app. Please, we highly recommend to use the desktop version, not the mobile version. Do not use the web application on a mobile device. It can be unstable and it is not the best experience. If you have, please use a Windows computer or a Mac computer. Um, if you need to be um, mobile, then please use a laptop notebook. I click on the desktop version now, it starts, it loads. Okay, here you see the first screen. You're asked to log in or register. And currently I'm not logged in, but I have already registered an account for free. Why do we have this account registration? Well, it's needed for saving and storing your data in the cloud that we can assign your high scores and your data to your user account. It's completely free of use and uh, we never charge for that. So please register a new user account here and if you have done so um, you're about to have an email address, an email address and a password to log in. I have done that already here with my test account and I do this now, so 
put in my email and password and hit login. If you have forgotten your password, then you can reset it here. And then we're good to go. Currently logged in as Nico and I go for continue where I can connect to the eSense muscle already here. I need to do this within two minutes after I turned on the eSense muscle so that I can connect, otherwise it will turn off to save battery again, so you need to turn it back on again. Okay, now we have connected it and you see it's connected with EMG. And below we have the question, please choose muscle, channel and filter. It is a good idea to choose a muscle, to choose the muscle you are working with, so later on you can assign your data or your data is assigned to the correct muscle. And if you're working with different muscles and muscle groups, it's good to sort that and uh, to choose a muscle here. In the options later, I show you how to uh, add new muscles or edit the existing muscles. So here we have now just a few test muscles and I uh, stay with that test muscle here. So now next thing to choose is channel one, channel two or both. Yeah, we have now the Essence Home Edition and the Essence Muscle Pro Edition. The Essence Home Edition consists of only a single channel, so only one channel is possible, either channel one or channel two. Uh, we recommend to always go for channel one. If you have the Pro Edition, and in this video I am showing the full features of the Pro Edition, you have also the option to choose both channels, channel one and two, and you have the option to choose different filters. Um, by default, the smallest filter here is selected and it's a good idea to stay with that filter for the moment because the smallest filter uh, gives you the most robust signal and for example, artifacts like heart, your heartbeat is not visible within that filter. So. There are other filters that uh, are common in literature and common for EMG. So we always have a small narrow band filter and we have one in the middle range between 20 to 300 and we have one large band filter between 20 to 950. Yeah, so if you have the feeling that you are not seeing enough muscle activity, then you can go for a larger, wider filter. Um, this is especially needed when it comes to very tiny muscle activity. Then it's good to have the full spectrum while the smaller and the smallest filter do cut some muscle activity but also make the signal most robust. So here you can in the bottom left you can choose between English and German in the software and um, there is a German video as well for it and where I show everything. Now, next step is the calibration. The calibration is very important and it helps the software to understand your muscle activity. And when I hit that button now, I have to contract and loosen and contract and loosen my muscles a couple of times to define a lower and upper threshold of the calibration. So the software wants to know what is my relaxed, most relaxed state and what is the state of contraction um, for the training? A lot of games and animation will work then within this range you calibrate it. You can always calibrate again later on, so don't worry if it's not going well the first time. You can calibrate as often as you want. And you can also tweak the calibration a little bit here. Um, you find that in the options as well, these two bars which assign the microvolt values we measure in a moment to 0 and 100%. And then you can change the 0 and 100 a little bit if you just want to make it a bit more comfortable. Um, then you can do it with changing these thresholds in the way like that. So I start calibration now and I will try to relax and contract and relax my hands a couple times. And you see then it's going up and down and up and down and um, stays down. Now I'm calm. You see I have now 11 to 138 for channel 1 and 7 
to 144 for channel 2 because I did not exactly in the same way contract and loosen and um, also the electrodes are not perfectly symmetrical but that's totally fine okay so now I have comfortably contracted not the maximum I could um, so that I can easily contract and loosen and control the biofeedback okay I hit continue and we are now in the main menu in the main menu you see we have games we have an oscilloscope attention practice or Practition 8 where you uh, are, have a guided pre uh, tension to apply and to loosen and animations, high scores, options and credits. Let's first have a look at the options because when you're new to the Essence Muscle and you may have purchased the Pro Edition then you register yourself an account and once you have done that at the beginning then uh, you're have the home edition here with your order you received a password to unlock the pro edition so i show you how to unlock your pro edition please go to options and you find an upgrade button here that is gray in my case because i have already upgraded my home edition my account in home edition to the pro edition yeah so you only have to do this once by hitting the upgrade button and then enter your password here so then you have the Pro Edition coupled to your account. Let's have a further look at the options. Well, you can switch player here. So I'm logged in now as Nico, but I can log out and log in with another account here if I like. And the input type is here, of course, the Essence Muscle, but it can also be the, um, the keyboard. If you just want to try out a little bit the games, you can control them with keyboard as well. You can switch language here. And here you have again the option to connect and disconnect the device. And here we have the option to edit the test muscle or add and change the muscles, give them a name, add more muscles here, uh, delete some existing muscles. So you can please uh, adjust your muscles here that you're working with. Yeah. Uh, you change the channels here and the filter. Uh, we see the calibration again and can tweak it here and can start calibration again as often as you want that's usually also possible to do within a game at the very end we have the interpolation time this means 99 milliseconds uh, is how the data that is coming from the device is averaged you can change that then the, the signal will be more jumpy or more smooth and flat you can play around with that and the activation threshold is 0.5 meaning it's half of your calibrated range yeah so as we have 11 to 140 let's say then somewhere in the middle around 75 or something we have the activation threshold the threshold that in some games and animations i need to to be above to meet with my contraction uh, so that something happens same with inhibition threshold, I need to stay below that threshold within my calibrated range, 0.5 of my calibrated range. We have some animations for two channels where it's important that one channel goes above and the other goes below the threshold. And at the bottom right corner, I'm sitting now a bit in front of it, you see the battery indicator, it's 93%. My battery is currently, so uh, yeah, that's also visible in over the whole web application M one short notice to improve the performance if you note that the performance is poor in your web browser you may not using it with your dedicated graphic card there is a small video on the essence-muscle.com website have a look at that that gives you some advice how to change your web browser your google chrome to be used with your dedicated graphic card for best performance Okay, now let's have a look at the games. When hitting games, we have five different games. The coins game, the space shooter, ping pong, tunnel racer and highway racer. And I would like to show you every game for a short moment. Let's start with the coins game, which is often the most liked one. And here we are, have different levels. Um, they are not um, ascending difficulty, they are just different yeah just try them all 
Um, we start here with the lava cave uh, as an example with level 5 um, and you see already there are some high scores here below that that um, have been done already and uh, these high scores are important later to track your progress. I hit the lava cave now. At the bottom here we also have some very difficult jump levels. Let's have a look at that. You see now there is a little uh, green square and with my hands I can contract go and it goes up and when I loosen my hand it go, they, they're going down. It's going down, okay? So I think the principle is already very intuitive and clear. All you need to do is collect these coins. We have golden, silver, bronze coins and these diamonds that give different points. And also we have um, the scoring you see increasing just by moving throughout the level. Yeah, But the more coins you collect the better. Now let me explain. I'm using this with two channels. How do they work together? When I contract channel 1 to the maximum here you see I'm right in the middle. So it's the first channel it's 50% and if I have the second hand and contract it as well you see we have 100% I'm going up to the top at max. Yeah. So both channels contribute in the same way uh, to the signal and I need to um, contract and loosen them very yeah, synchronous to have all these coins collected. This is a very nice um, game and, and a nice thing exercise to practice to increase muscle activity slowly, hold them here now and loosen them again slowly 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 going down. Okay, So yeah, this you see in these levels the coins are a bit like in a sinus shape arranged and in other levels they are just different. You also have some nice background music here and uh, it's really a lot of fun to collect these coins in different levels and different graphics and different um, there are also some more difficult ones with have some obstacles in there and you can always recalibrate you see if I hit the calibrate button I could calibrate again but now it's working perfectly fine for me so that I can easily contract and reach the top when I contract both hands now and when I loosen them it's going down. Okay, you see I have reached now 10,000 points. Uh, the levels uh, progress about to the half. And uh, let's go a little bit more further than I think I should have a new high score. And I can show you that later on in the high scores list as well. So now I'm hitting the 11,000. Um, I do not have to complete it. I can hit pause and go back to levels. And then this new high score you see here is applied to this level up until then I was playing. Okay. Yes, that's the coins game and let's go on next for the space shooter. Okay, the space shooter is easy to start. Just hit play and choose difficulty and I go for hard because easy is actually pretty easy and now you see it's like a bit like a retro uh, space game and I have to uh, shoot here the other spaceships and uh, asteroids that are I'm encountering. I can collect these pop-ups uh, giving me more uh, energy here. You see the green energy bar and all I have to do uh, is to survive here um, within that space and not being hit by asteroids and other ships. Uh, so yeah, the next level starts and it's getting a bit more complicated, getting a bit more enemies and the time I need to survive is longer. And uh, yeah, whenever I contract, you see, I'm, I'm controlling this now with my hands with contract and loosen. When I hit contract one hand, it, it's moving to the left. And um, when I'm contracting the other hand, it's moving to the right. Uh, this is how the two channels work together here and you see it's I'm al already doing pretty well here in um, surviving in this level. Yeah, So for every level you get a high score as well calculated based on how many uh, asteroids and ships you shoot and and uh, yeah. 
it continues to be getting more difficult and difficult over time. This is also a nice game that's quick and easy to play and easy to understand and you can control it very well with two channels or even with one channel. With one channel it's just that uh, you're, if you're completely relaxed you're here on the left and if you are completely contracted uh, at your maximum of calibration then you're at the very right. Okay, let's pause that and go back to the main menu and go back again and then we're back again in the, in the games overview and let's start and play a round of ping pong. As the name already says, ping pong is pretty easy and here I have the same that I have to um, contract. Both of my hands need to work together to with one hand I can go to the left side and with the other one in addition I need to go to the right side so both channels are counting together and now I'm trying to do not miss a ball is the goal so I have just one heart left ah okay game over <laughs> so it's also a very nice mini game where you need to control your muscles and contract and loosen at the right moment let's go back and have a look at the tunnel racer the tunnel racer is a bit similar principle you see most games are about the right moment of contraction and loosening your muscles so you use them very in a complex way and after that when we go on to the animations they are more specific for a certain um, yeah, exercise to do okay um, the tunnel racing is also a game of an endless tunnel and a car that I can control here it steers to the right when I contract my right hand that's working perfectly here now and to the left when I contract my left hand so it's very intuitive to, to do and you see I need to go in between these obstacles here and through these blue golds yeah so then you see uh, this tunnel is continuously endlessly uh, going on and you need to uh, anticipate up front how to go best through these obstacles and um, if you have a good control over your muscles it will be easy the more you are limited in that the more difficult this game gets so of course um, oh <laughs> I jumped above it <laughs> Uh, this game also needs a little bit of time to get into that I've played it now a couple times and you see now I'm having 17 of that and I think that's okay to, for the demo so now I go hit such an obstacle ah no <laughs> again again Nineteen, okay. Nineteen, the new score, also the best score I had. And um, let's go on. This is saved as a high score now, and you can see it later in the high score overview list. The last game is the Highway Racer, which is the most graphical, complex game. Let's say, or uh, from the graphics, it uh, has the highest demand to your web browser and your computer. So. Um, yeah, if that is not running perfectly smooth for you, uh, see that little uh, video on how to choose a dedicated graphic card and you may also just make your browser window smaller. If you do that, then uh, it also uh, increases performance. If yeah, you just can do it like that in a smaller browser window. Okay, and uh, I choose a car now here and hit select next and then you have one way, two way, time attack and speed bump, different modes. 
uh, in general, all you need to do is uh, you need to go through the traffic. Yeah, so move yourself through the traffic um, in a different environment with different cars and different amount of obstacles. And you see again here when I contract my right and left hand, I can steer this car here to the left and to the right. And I'm increasing in speed and I need to look at now um, some other cars that are coming. And then I need to plan where I can go over. Ah, that was a wrong decision. Ah, no. <laughs> okay, now it was too much. It's pretty difficult. And um, yeah, don't expect too many scores. Uh, you get some money here and uh, you can buy some more cars within that games from the money uh, this uh, just uh, fake money of course and uh, Yeah, it's also a nice game uh, with different modes uh, Try it out have fun with that. Okay so these are the games and um, That is already just a small part of the web application. So there is a lot more to see Second, let's have a look at the animations. Beside all the games are part of the Home and Pro Edition. You can play them with one channel in the Home Edition and one or two channels in the Pro Edition. And now let's look at the animations where we have single channel and two channel animations. And um, first, let's have a look at the single channel ones. And of course, here it is clear that the two channels are not available in the home edition, so only in the pro edition. We have some different approaches here. Yeah, You see below there's written timing and precision <coughs> between the baseball animation. And for the archery we have controlled tightening and loosening. For the limbo we have minimum tension and for the high striker maximum force. Okay, So here we have different single exercises to use with EMG biofeedback. Let's start with the baseball. The baseball here you see is just a ball dropping from the top, <clears throat> from above, and I need to contract and, oh, that was luck, uh, in the right moment hit the ball, okay? And you see there is a contraction uh, here on the right. You see, I just do a little, little, little contraction with my hand now. I'm not going above this red threshold that I can move with the mouse and I need to go above that and then um, the bat is hitting okay so what I need to do now is find the right moment and contract in the right moment to hit the ball this might be very difficult at the beginning because you need to anticipate the ball when it's dropping and it takes some time you see when I'm too late it just goes like that so um, take your time to figure it out. Uh, it's also a lot about timing, yeah? So not about being strong. If you're, uh, it's that's too difficult to contract, just go down with the threshold and uh, then you can contract very easily, okay? So I think I'm not going to do better. Uh, so let's move on. <laughs> this is already a new high score today, this 92.1 meter. Then we have the same with two balls that makes it even a bit more easy because there are two balls dropping from the top. That's all different because many beta testers said that it's too difficult to hit the ball, uh, especially when you're not so perfectly well at controlling your muscles. So then with two balls, it's just easier to hit one uh, by chance also a little bit. Yeah. So that's the more easy version of the baseball. The archery is one animation I like the most because it's about um, contracting your muscles. Um, I move up the threshold a little bit now, so I need to go above that, hold this contraction and then loosen it in the right moment. When I hit start, you see, when I contract, uh, the arrow pulls back and again I need to release quickly. Yeah. So contract, hold, release, now. Uh, it was too early. And you see, I also, as the it's moving again, 
in the, at the wrong moment as this is moving now I need to focus and see and watch this a uh, bit too early so 10 points again waiting for it going down a little bit more or going up ah it's not so easy holding ah, that was too early when you hold too long then it's also going and I'm not on a good run today now ah, I think I have to record that video again huh? that I'm not doing well yeah so one arrow left and only 20 points watch the German version of this video now again at least 40 you see my high score was 180 um, yeah but you need to you, you see you need to figure it out the right timing the right moment hold contract hold loosen in the right moment and um, yeah and this is a really nice game to do and really nice exercise to train and you can always change the threshold here to make it easier to go above it and hold it you can always recalibrate if you think you need to cali need to do it too strongly and uh, then it works better the limbo the limbo is minimum tension this is one of the first exercise we have here um, where it's above muscle relaxation there will be more content for muscle relaxation as we see there's a high demand for that and um, this is just our first approach for this topic and we will develop more in the future because it's very important most of the muscle training is always about muscle control and timing and precision and strength but not so much about uh, loosening your muscle activity relax relax your muscles and especially your stress muscles when you're recording shoulder neck um, your forehead or yeah, the muscle here for your teeth uh, then relaxation is most important often okay so here the the goal is you see the, you know the limbo dance this is our uh, red um, bar here don't touch it otherwise it will fall down so this is our figure here and I contract you see it goes it grows and shrinks and um, to increase uh, to decrease my muscle activity of course that's difficult if there is not a lot of muscle activity and there is not a lot you see I am already at 11 this is really near nothing um, so when my hand is fully relaxed um, then it's hard to get lower okay so we start at 30 percent um, of muscle activity and um, you see when I hit start this is moving and now I'm doing nothing for the first time and it's going below and that was successful and now the threshold is going down the bar is going down you see there are two um, green shields here that pointing up so the, our idea is that we use progressive muscle relaxation technique a bit contract your muscles strongly touch the shield and then loosen I try I show contract and loosen and then I could go even below my initial calibrated threshold I think I'm now below 11 but you won't see that as there is no signal there okay um, I could recalibrate here for that moment um, and see if I could go lower than, than that or I could go to the options to do that now let's just start again hit the shield contract and loosen yeah you can contract again if you want but that doesn't matter okay so this is the idea contract loosen contract loosen um, so that with after a strong contraction you loosen your muscle you will go even lower when there is some muscle activity left okay and with every time this threshold here is going lower when I'm below it below and um, I show you now what happens when I'm contracting and I'm not loosening too early not early enough and now what happens is that the bar is going up again okay 
So then it gets more easy. So try to get as low as possible. If there is some um, activity left uh, that you don't see here now because it's below 11 in my case, recalibrate or change this lower threshold to zero um, in options. Okay. Yeah, that's the limbo. Now let's have a look at the high striker, which is the opposite. It's about maximum tension. Yeah. So we had the idea um, as thinking about um, um, folks fast, uh, where you have these things sometimes where you have a hammer and you have to hit as hard as possible. Yeah. In German, it's how den Lukas sometimes. Pretty funny name. And um, hit Lukas. Uh, so hit start here and then contract as strong as possible. Um, the calibration does not matter at all in this case. Just contract as strong as you can and you get some points for that. Let's start. I have two channels and I contract as strong as possible with both hands I can. And then I hit the ball. 761 is my high score. Okay, let's try again. Let me be stronger this time. Three, two, one, go. Ah, 910. And 815. Yes. <laughs> Nice, this time you were even stronger, okay? So try that um, when it's about, it's about to increase your muscle activity as most as possible. This is also a nice animation for that. Okay, these are the channel one um, and in the single channel animations. Sorry, uh, I was wrong. I said I had to contract both hands. No, I just had to contract one hand because it's a one channel animation. So. I did contract the second hand, uh, but that didn't matter. Okay, two channels. Again, the baseball, but a little different. Here, we are using one channel to contract and to hit the ball, you see. And the second channel is our inhibition channel. Means that when I go above it, you see, when I have too much muscle activity, on my other hand here, I'm contracting it on purpose now, you see, but then I can contract the one, the, first, the other hand, go above for the first channel and it won't do anything. Yeah, Because I'm with the second channel and I can put that threshold down here, so I really need to be calm with that hand, um, it's blocking. So this is a very nice thing if you have two channels and uh, if you have two muscle groups that you want to train to be separated. Yeah? So that you contract one muscle while you keep the other muscle that's usually typically very close, uh, not activated. Yeah? A good training could be, for example, by um, getting your arms up without using the shoulder. Yeah? So then you could put one channel here on the arm and the other on the shoulder. So don't do that, just do that. Yeah, uh, just an example. There are many, many others where you have one and a half, two channels and separate two muscle groups. Yeah, so then in this case, keep one calm and then you can hit the ball with the other. Okay, the same here for two balls. I think that's clear. That's just the same thing. Just two balls dropping from the top, making it a bit more easier. The archery as well here, let's have a look, is the same principle. Um, when I start it, I need to calm the other hand, need to relax it, and then I can pull back oh, stronger. <laughs> and I can pull back stronger and um, try to hit. Oh. Again, again, okay, I'm not pulling strong enough. Can put that a little bit down. I'm really not doing well in that archery today. <laughs> okay, so yeah, but the principle is clear, right? You uh, have the other channel for inhibit. Okay, the seesaw is pretty easy to do. Um, that you see when I'm uh, having both, both hands quite similar contracted, I'm in the middle. When I contract one more, you see, it's going to one side and the other more, it's going to the other side. Yeah, That's about balance. 
uh, when both channels are similar, I'm in the middle in balance and keep it calm and not moving too much. Um, we have that also inverted because yeah, sometimes some people say, okay, when I contract, I want to have the seesaw to go down at that side. Some others say, no, that's not intuitive. It must go down on the other side. It must go up because I'm contracting, everything goes up. Yeah, so we put both in. And for the water, we have also here water glass that you need to keep in balance. It's getting more and more full. And otherwise, if you don't do, uh, don't drop some water. Yeah, so if it's not in balance, I'm doing this on purpose now, you can spill all the water to one or the other side. Okay. These are the animation. You can change channels here from one channel, then you have the single channel, also the second channel, or both, then you have the two channel animations. Change the filter here or change the muscle here for the high score being recorded to the right muscles. Let's go back to the main menu. Next, let's have a look at the oscilloscope, which is part only of the Pro Edition. Here we have your muscle signal now as two lines drawn in this oscilloscope. The blue one you see now, I'm contracting the blue one, is channel one. This hand, loosen, contract, loosen, contract, loosen. And you see also there's a bar chart behaving similar. Second hand, contract, loosen, contract, loosen. And then you see also the numeric values here, uh, microvolt in RMS, averaged over 10 seconds or a minute, change the zoom here, change the x-axis length here, and what is very nice, you can apply some custom range, then it's fixed here, the y-axis, and then we have the draw mode. In the draw mode, you have a pen, and with that pen, you can apply something here, you can draw something, that you need to follow with your muscle activity, yeah? just as a background, you see. I'm now trying to match this. First, I need to figure out which hand again. Yeah, so now I'm about a little bit, it's difficult to do that, it's similar synchronous with two channels. Uh, it can be even more difficult if I have another color and say, okay, now let's follow the green line with your blue. Let's try that. And I try to follow the purple one <clears throat> with my orange curve. Now crossing. Now I need to contract the other hand while loosening the other one. Oh, that's going pretty well. And again, need to contract the other one a little bit. And you see, I can follow that um, if I have good control over my muscles. Here you can remove that or you can even paint something and then with the right mouse you can uh, have it removed like this. Yeah, feel free to paint anything that the user needs to follow, okay? This is the draw mode, I think it's pretty nice. It's just a, a visual uh, advice, it's not stored or anything. And it's only available when you hit the custom Y range. Then what else do we have? We have a long-term graph you can um, enable here at the top. And then we have another oscilloscope, which is 10 minutes long here, so that you have a better overview over a long process of muscle activity. And of course, we have the tension practice, which you can here define um, the time for tense in millisecond, for hold the tension, um, for relax and for being relaxed, keep relaxed, okay? So these are milliseconds and when I hit that start now and I hit, uh, I'm in draw mode as well and you see that there's also this drawn and I need to follow that and you see also there is a bar chart in the middle now appearing, the tension pattern that um, I can also change here in amplitude. You see then the amplitude is changing how strong I need to contract the muscle activity. Yeah? So you can apply that 
in a way that it works best for you. Just move the, this threshold here with a mouse. And then we have 10 times. You can change all the numbers here and define your custom um, tension practice. Okay, um, what else do we have? We can record. We can record, uh, well, let's remove that. We can record any time by hitting the recording button here. And let's, for example, do this now for one channel. Uh, record. You see then it's starting. Uh, I have 12 seconds now. That's uh, the time left from the tension practice. And I can do some nice recording, uh, contraction, loosening like this, yeah, with my hand. And then I want to stop that. And you see it's already has a name. I can change that name now, channel one, filter, time, date and time. And I want to save that, hit save recording. And when, I, when you load a recording, for example, then it looks like that again in the full oscilloscope, then the uh, oscilloscope is fitting the perfect length of the recording. So then you see everything at once in an overview. Okay. So this is how you have your recordings here. They are all stored in, to your account in our cloud so that you have the data here as well. If you hit the play button now, that's important to, to note, then we're back to normal recording. Okay. Hit the play button here. Uh, you can always pause and play uh, the measurement here as well. Okay. Back to two channels. And you can also say, uh, I want to hide this values. And simple bars are like this, where they are going green when you're going up. Or you can reverse the bars and say, uh, please keep them down, then you're green. Or when you're going up, you're getting more in the red area. You can do this reversement also with the uh, with these bars as well okay yes that's everything about the oscilloscope i think and let's go back and have a look at the main menu again now let's have a look at the tension practice this is a nice background and we have a sphere here a green one that is increasing when i contract my muscles yeah and the red one is the one that is now waiting for my start command. I can customize everything here on the bottom right. And um, I can also hide that configuration when uh, everything works fine for me and then start. And then I need to bring both spheres perfectly in match. Okay, then we have such a dark green orange match of both. So always contract along with the tension practice aid helper however you want to call it and again i contract hold my muscle contraction and loosen it completely now okay 10 times you can customize that you can also say oh, i don't i don't like these spheres i want to do that with just simple bars you can do this here with simple bars, okay? Yes, that is the tension practice. And at the end, we have the high scores because we want to see how we, how we did. And I choose my test muscle here. And in coins, I have played the thing, the lava cave a lot, a couple times. So here in the lava, level five lava cave, you see there are some high scores uh, was increasing then I dropped a little bit and now today I got a new high score for that um, so for every game for every level in the game you can look at your high scores here and if you are on the pro edition there is a global scoreboard where you can compare yourself as well with other players yeah currently at that level there are no other players because we're just launching that yes okay so um, these are the high scores to keep track of your progress. I think um, using high scores is the best way in EMG biofeedback uh, to keep track of your progress. Beside, okay, you can use the oscilloscope with recordings as well, but normally um, progress is very well to see 
in that you're getting better in, in all the games and animations when you're improving your muscle control and strength and everything. Yeah? So this is a good measure for this and so that we have the high scores here where every high score you make is stored and saved. Yeah? And here you can choose the ping pong, for example, yeah, here, for example, I had a very good one here as I was recording the German video. 66 and now today I was okay yeah also that's pretty nice here we don't have modes and levels just ping pong I'll just choose that yeah okay that's the high scores um, the options I've shown already I think we're at the end of the web application um, some little note at the end if you go for the pro edition there is another application uh, that is running on iOS and Android, our eSense mobile app. Let me quickly show you that. Here you see my iPad now, my iPad desktop. And first there is the eSense Muscle app. That is a tiny browser if you like to run the web application I have just shown you now um, in a, uh, on an iPad, then you can try that. But as I said, it's not running so well and stable because still it's a browser. This eSense Muscle app is just a minimum browser that supports web Bluetooth. We have had to create because Safari under Apple does not support Bluetooth. Um, so you can use that when you hit that, you're right on the website and here you can try the desktop and mobile build, or no, only the mobile build, sorry. Um, and then you can see if that works for your mobile device, but there are thousands of mobile devices with different specs and uh, some are more better and, and are worse. So uh, yeah, we cannot guarantee it's working on a mobile device. That's why we highly recommend, please use your Windows desktop computer with a desktop built here or Mac or Linux. It really works best and um, very smooth if you're on a middle sized computer. You don't have to have a high-end computer. Um, but the mobile version is unstable and we don't know if we can solve that uh, because there are so many different specs of mobile devices and there is not enough memory in a, in a browser available as we have on desktop versions. But we keep trying, so as if you like, you can try that out. Uh, under Android, just go for the Google Chrome browser under Android and try the mobile build here from the website. Under iOS, go for this eSense Muscle app in the App Store and then yeah, just open it and launch the mobile build from there. It's, it's like a Google Chrome browser, a minimum version with web Bluetooth, a little bit yeah, to be compared. But for the Pro Edition, we have the normal eSense mobile app. This is the other icon just called eSense, Mindfield eSense, the dark blue one. I start that now and this is our main application for all our eSense sensors. Yeah, so um, here you can also log in with an account or continue without account. I continue without account now. And here we have all the eSense we have beside the eSense muscle. We have skin response, temperature, pulse, respiration and latest edition, the eSense muscle. And it's uh, limited to pro edition users, so you need to insert a password here when you start that as well. You get that with your order. Uh, I have already done this here now in my app, so I can tap on that. Uh, decide for open training and procedures. Have a look at our videos on YouTube about the app in general to understand it a bit more. There will also be a specific video about just the eSense muscle part here of that I'm now just showing for a very short moment. Um, I think I need to go to demo mode because I'm still connected with my computer. Yeah. So I'm on demo mode, just starting that to give you a very short impression here. As a pro user, you have an oscilloscope, bar charts here as well. Um, on your iPad, I highly recommend to use an iPad for that. It's the best performance and um, yeah, best screen size to see everything in parallel. You can change the video by muscle activity, for example, in its brightness, color, contrast. You can change music in volume and speed by muscle activity, uh, tones. There are many, many options you can choose here from uh, and feedback, music, tone, smart bulb, contraction helper, etc. So um, it's very complex, this app again. So it has to have a separate video. 
But here just a little quick introduction for the Pro Edition users. Here you have also a nice archive. You can export the sessions as comma separate values, CSV files for Excel or as PDF reports as well. So beside the huge web application I've just shown you, you have even more here as a training app on mobile devices as a Pro Edition user. So I hope you liked that video. It was a lot of fun for me to make it. Thank you very much for your attention and for keep watching to the end. Have a look at our other videos. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Bye bye.